What's up, baby? This is Deontay, the Bronze Bummer Wild, the WBC Heavyweight Champion of the World! And today is fair game. Let's go, baby. On today's show, Deontay Wilder pulls no punches. From Tyson Fury. They want someone to get knocked out. To Anthony Joshua. Power user. To his visit with the president. You know, Trump is Trump. Plus, he kisses and tells. Her lips shivering, mine is too. Nothing is off limits. I can't tell you. Can't lie on the I'm couch. not gonna tell you. I'm embarrassed. And things get wet and wilder. You got me screaming like a little girl like this. <laughs> it's all next on Fair Game. Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy, and I'm so excited about this show because we have one of the most, if not the most, badass fighters in the world with us. Great style as well. I'm jealous of your shoes already. <laughs> on December 1st, right here in Los Angeles, he's putting his perfect record on the line. 40 fights, 40 wins, 39 of them by knockout. He's known as the Bronze Bomber. Please welcome WBC heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder. Deontay, I'm so happy to have you here. And I will never forget you in my life because I don't know if you remember this, but I was once covered in your blood and your sweat. <laughs> I did your fight with Chris Ariola, and I was in the ring with you afterwards. You'd broken your hand and you just sprayed blood and sweat all over me. Yeah. Do you well, remember that moment? I do remember that moment. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, you know, I took a shower right after yeah, that. Yeah, I hope uh, you did. <laughs> yeah, it, I felt honored to uh, be a part of that moment for you, but that was a great Most fight. Most no, And don't worry, I'm clean, so, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't so worried. I think you kind of have to make sure you're good with yeah. that before the fight goes. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> These press conferences that you've been doing leading up to the fight against Tyson Fury, I know you, and I've seen kind of the two different sides of you. You're a nice guy. Mm. I see the nice guy persona. We've had conversations about your kids and your family. And then I've seen you do press conferences where you really don't like your opponent. <laughs> and I've got to be honest with you, I see you smiling. When you're talking to Tyson Fury, there's a bit of a smile there. I, I don't know if you really hate him. I mean, me and Tyson Fury, we, we got a, a great relationship amongst each other. You know, um, he's a fighter that I could actually talk to. I mean, what's not to like about him? He's funny with his uh, corny jokes, you know, and I think his accent makes it funny. Yeah. Although it's corny jokes, but his accent makes it, makes it give it a little umph on it. He's a great fighter as well, too. You know, he's the perfect dancing partner for me for this particular fight that I got coming up. So if you like this guy and you're talking really highly about him, how do you get in the ring and know? Because your punches are terrifying. Mm. I've been close to them. <laughs> how do you know that you're, you like this guy and you're going to get in the ring and hurt him? As a champion, you gotta know how to transform. Like with, with me, no matter what opponent it is, you know, I, I use a lot of visualization and meditation. So that allows me to strengthen my mind to focus on one thing and not many. Like even in this room, although it can be noise, I can zone my mind out and just focus on whatever I need be, you know? So it's just like in the ring, on the outside, I'm Deontay Wilder on the inside. I'm the bronze bum. I tell people I have two different personalities, and it's real. I can switch on. I know. Like I've I've seen you do it, and it's mm. really scary because yeah. I know this Deontay, and I have to tell you, when you walk into the ring with that mask on, mm. I'm scared of you, yeah, I'm and a, I'm scared for your opponent. People got to understand this is boxing. This is a gladiator sport. Yeah. This is a warrior sport. This is not a gentleman sport. No one asking to hit each other in the face, and you know when you're in camp, two and three months and your main focus is on a guy and you getting instructions to hit, punch, and we're gonna hit in the head and stuff like that, that gets in your head. You, you, you're transforming your mind to think that way until that time. So when that time does happen, it's time to release all that energy. You know, this is my occupation. This is what I do. I like to entertain people. I like to get them to the knockouts because when people come to see boxing, that's what they get dressed for. Oh, the they knockout. Want, yeah, they don't want to see no 12 round, 36 minute fight or just, just skills and wheels and you just go the whole round. They want someone to get knocked out. As bad as that sounds, we're getting dressed, we're going to the fight, we're gonna see this man get knocked out, and we're gonna go party. I know you're focused on this fight, but I gotta ask you about Anthony Joshua. <laughs> because everyone wants that fight to happen. You dare not. I have to, I have to. Everybody <laughs> wants to see it. Why isn't it know? happening? I mean, he was just a coward, just straight out. He was just a coward, he didn't want to fight. You know, when a guy allows his people to not accept $50 million, that's a guarantee. Yeah, you don't want to fight, you know. When a guy offered me 15 million flat fee, although that's that's the worstest offer in in, in boxing history, could 
pertaining to a fight of this magnitude, they still didn't want it, you know. So with that being said, they don't want to fight. They just want to, you know, trick people, manipulate them, contradict, and just compulsive liars. So we've moved on, and now I'm in the biggest fight in the world with Tyson Fury, and I'm so happy. It is a huge fight. But do you have Anthony Joshua's cell phone number? No, I don't. You, don't? you know, he needs someone to narrate the conversation. A uh, middleman. Yeah, a middleman. Okay. You, know, you would want to talk to him man to man. I'm a grown man. I don't oh, deal with boys. So he's not a grown man is you what you're me? saying. I don't need another man that I have to talk to to re re reply a message to when we're right here FaceTiming each other. That, yeah, I don't like that. That's... Well, I was going to offer to be the middleman if you had his phone, <laughs> his phone number. I would give him a call and we could do that right here. I think he a little fearful of me, so we're going to let him be. You okay. know, we're going to let him, we wish him luck on what he's doing and all his endeavors. And uh, hopefully one day we come together. I don't feel like you're really wishing him good luck. I do. I genuinely wish everybody love, happiness, and peace because that's what I obtained in my life. I tell people I'm rich without money. I'm a billionaire without money. I got the finest things in life. I got love. I got peace. I got happiness. And I have great health. And you got your Louboutin shoes. Got my Louis, Louis, and my you got the bottoms. watch that you told me you don't even use to tell the time. <laughs> don't tell the business. <laughs> There's a lot more to you. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is you went to the White House. Mm -hmm. You met with Donald Trump when right. he was pardoning Jack Johnson. Mm -hmm. What made you decide to do that? Why not? Mm -hmm. This is Jack Johnson. This mm -hmm. is the first African uh, heavyweight champion of the world. He the one that started everything for us. He paved the way. A lot of people are like, well, why? You know, a hundred years later, you know, this is, it doesn't matter. That's the thing about it is growth. It's a process that was that that had to be formed, and it's finally his end. A lot of people, it might not matter to them. It was a hundred years. What does it matter now? He's dead. Say that to his family. Say that to someone that has to bear the burden of someone knowing that they was done wrong. Yeah, they was done. He was done wrong. That shouldn't have never happened yeah. to him. Yeah, it know? was. It was very important for you to go. Great. A, a lot of athletes have turned down that opportunity mm. because of their feelings for President Trump. Yeah. You caught a lot of flack for it. Correct. What was it like? What was the interaction like with him? I mean, you know, you know Trump is Trump. He's always been a a, a, a very open and, uh, opinion guy. You know, he expresses his voice very well. No hesitations, you know. The thing about Trump, me interacting with him and him interacting with me, I mean, it was just like a conversation. He's, he's a huge boxing fan. So, you know. So he knows he, you. He knows. You know, he yeah. asked me about my fights, when the next fight. and this, You know, don't be surprised he may be at Is this next fight. Hey, of course. That's one thing we had in common that he knew boxing. And as a person, person, we understand him. But being in office, of course, there's a lot of issues and there's a lot of problems. Yeah. He didn't have to sign that for Jack Johnson. You know, what, no matter what was, you know, what was the reasoning of it? He still didn't have to do it. A lot of people were saying, well, Obama didn't sign it, you know, and stuff like that. But um, I'm just glad it was signed. I'm glad I went up there for the pardoning of Jack Johnson. I'll do it a thousand times over again. And if anybody got a problem with me, then come and see me in the ring. <laughs> it's not often you get to go to the Oval Office. Not many people get the opportunity to do that. I'm going to take a hard turn here. Okay. I'm watching Wags. Yeah. You're yeah. on this show with your fiance now, yeah, Telly. Mm-hmm. Do people recognize you more as a boxer or as a star now on WAGS? Um, still as the fighter. We did one season yes. with it, and now we're in another uh, space in our lives. But I didn't have a lot of people come up and say, hey, you was on that WAGS. You know, this and that. You know, it was fun. It, was a, it, it allowed me to uh, show people my personality, who I am. Yeah, the gentle giant version. Exactly. And That's who I really part. am. We have fun. I'm a positive person. I think positive. I speak positive. Yeah. And I have a positive surrounding. My favorite episode was the end, when you're having not only a gender reveal party, which yeah. is a lot for a guy to handle, you also proposed mm. on the same day. What was that like? It was crazy. You know, the whole situation was, was, was kind of crazy. I love Chantel. You know, it's nothing yeah. like being happy. It's nothing like having someone that, that loves you and you love them as well, too. And with her, it's just different. She loved to take care of me. She loved to be by me. She loved to be everywhere with me. Now she can't because she's so busy now. It's crazy. And I'm proud of her that she can branch out on her own. She's all about women empowerment as yeah. well as I as well, too, because I feel like women are the most powerful things on earth. And they are. It's nothing that a man can do that a woman can't do, you know. There's some things that a woman can do that a man can't do, though. There you go. You know, December 1st, will she be there? She will be there. She'll be there along with a lot of other people. I can't wait. It's going to be a exciting I'll be, fight. I'll be there, too. I'm You'll excited be there for as it. Well too. 
Coming up, it's first and 10. First thing we'd find in your Google search history. Ooh, it's rated R, put it like that. Okay, all right, <laughs> hey, you uh, do you. you it do wasn't you. my fault. That's next. Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy, and the champ is in the house, Deontay Wilder. Now it's time for First and Ten, where Deontay is going to answer ten questions that all have to do with firsts. Oh, Lord. Are you ready? I am ready. You look ready. scared. I haven't seen you scared, Deontay. I get nervous at times. Number one, first thing you do when you wake up in the morning. Brush my teeth. Good. Good start. <laughs> first time you took a punch to the face. I punched him back. Of course you did. <laughs> did it hurt? It did, but Him I punched I got my lip back. If you hit me, I'll hit you back. First kiss. <laughs> First kiss, it was amazing. You know, when really? I Really? Yeah, it was amazing. When I touched her lips, I'm going back in my mind, you did know. Did you initiate? Uh, we both came. It was like one of those magic, magic. things where you come your head together real close yeah. and stuff because you don't know what it's gonna be like. And his her lips shivering, mine is too, and and then when you connect, it just comes to a solid. Really? And then what was her and name? Then you close your eyes. I can't remember her name. Oh, it was that magical. You can't even remember her name. The poor girl's watching right now. I'm sorry. And she feels her. Well, my first kiss was not that good. You got lucky. <laughs> first thing you bought after your first big payday? My Rolls Royce. It was a drop head phantom. Uh, Rolls Royce coupe. She's so beautiful. You still have it? Oh my God. I just can't stop looking at her. You know? You remember um, her more than your first kiss. Oh, uh, you, be you better believe it. She's my spaceship. She's my spaceship. And I like riding in her, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have songs for her, too. First job. <laughs> My first job was at Burger King. You know, I was uh, one of the best guys there. Have it your way. Hey, have it your way. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, when I do a job, I want to be the best at it, so I was the best burger flipper there. You better believe it. All right, you can give us room their way. First thing you think of when I say Anthony Joshua. Coward user. I'm going to go back to Luger. User. Hey, oh. use, you know. I know what you're saying. I can, I can plug that in in my mind. First tattoo you ever got, and you have a lot. Yes, I do. I mean, the only space I have on my body is, like, the front of my thighs, um, this whole area, the back of my ass. I'm getting my ass done, too. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to put a cat claw on it and say a cat got holes to my ass. What? <sighs> the cat claw scratches on your butt. Okay. And then just, all right. Yeah, you know, I, you know, <laughs> just imagine cat claws got a hold of you, but yeah, you just didn't, is, is your and goal, I got away. Is your goal to have all of you? All of it. All, all of, no, all but of all it. of you covered. All of it. Ow. You know. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, ow. No, for, you know, it's, it's relaxing. It's therapy. You know, that's why it's such a uh, addictive thing, you know. Yeah. When you get addicted to tattoo, you find a small spot. See, I got a little spot on my neck somewhere right here. Yeah, you could fill in that little hole right you there. Feel I me? see it. Yeah, yeah. See that? I see it's it. Mm -hmm. you get the vision. I get it. So the first one you ever had? Jesus prayer hands. I wanted to be safe, and I'm very religious. So I know if I got a, a prayer hand with a, with a rosary bead, that'll mean a lot to me. First text message you sent today. I was talking to my manager, Shelly Finkels, actually. Um, we was, I was asking him how he was doing about his health. Uh, we had a situation at the press conference. Hey, you knocked him down. I didn't do it. Yeah, he did. Tyson's fault, and I'm going <laughs> to whoop his ass for that, OK? First thing we'd find in your Google search history. Ooh. Be honest. I know if you're lying. <laughs> I can see. I'm not going to be honest. Yeah, you got to be. I can't tell you. You can't lie on this I'm couch. not going to tell you. Give me a hint. I'm embarrassed. No. <laughs> Is it like teddy bears? I'm not telling. I'm not telling. I just need no. just a little bit. No. Does I'm it not. have to do with like websites that you have to pay for? No. <laughs> You're really not going to give me anything? Not no. a clue? It's rated R. Put it like that. Well, I just said like a website that you would have well, to pay for. Well, I ain't for. paying for nothing. Oh, it's I'm free. I'm just looking. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? You do, you uh, it do wasn't you. my fault. I was look. I was advised to go on something to look at something, oh, and I right, did. Oh right, right. Okay? Someone else told okay, you to Okay, I you're said just, it. There you go. It was okay, okay. It was some type hey. of porn site. Okay, I said it. Hey, if that's and what you need to do good. first thing in the morning, then well, that's what hey, you got to do. You're preparing for a fight here. No one can stop I, you. <laughs> first thing you would hide if your mom came to visit, aside from your computer, because I'm sure you'd want to hide that. Now that I know. Well, I'm very open with my mother. You know, so I don't have a name from her. So whatever, how I am, she accept me. You know, she can walk in. She well, can she walk made in. you. 
Yeah, you know, she don't, she don't, she, we're not a judge, we're not judgmental people. We don't judge people because we don't want to be judged ourselves. I like that. Coming up, how much does a George Foreman grill cost? $19.95. No! Ah! <laughs> Things are getting wet and wilder next. Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with WBC heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder. If you're wondering why we are holding super soakers and why we're wearing goggles, we are playing Wet and Wilder. Oh my God. Here's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna ask Deontay some questions, but if he gets them wrong, I get to spray him with a water gun. If he gets them right, I'm the one uh, who's gonna get soaked. And I feel like you know what you're talking about when it comes to boxing. You're terrifying me with that smile right now. <sighs> okay, goggles on, just because we're gonna be safe here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ugh, I'm not ready. I'm so scared. I am not either. Okay. But I'm ready. What is the name of Mr. T's character in Rocky III? <laughs> What's the, uh, 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 uh. I thought you were gonna oh, know this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what is the, what, what, say the question again one more time. Now would you like time. me to take it easy on you say, or go say on? The question, what, say the question. <laughs> oh. Yes, one for me. Oh. What is Tyson? I call. What is? <laughs> I've never heard your voice get so high. What is Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury's reach. Tyson Fury reach is eighty-four. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> it was eighty-five, but I was being nice to you. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're so sorry. Right, you got to get it back then. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'm being nice to you. I think I would take within an inch. That's how they would do it on most game shows, wouldn't they? Isn't it cold? Yeah, it's cool. Thank you for that. Within one dollar, how much does a George Foreman two-in-one grill cost? Within one dollar? Yeah, you got to get within one dollar. Because I gave you one dollar oh, with the reach. Nineteen ninety-five. No, twenty-nine ninety-nine. Oh. <laughs> I sound like the the wish that's that's that that no. <laughs> You know the witch that oh, melts. Oh yeah, the wicked witch of the west who melts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> In Mike Tyson's Punch Out, one of the iconic boxers was a king named after which animal? Open your mouth. <laughs> Are you thirsty? <laughs> oh, you got me screaming like a little girl. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. The Thrilla in Manila took place in what country? Um, you better not do it, the Philippines. Yes, the Philippines! Yes! <laughs> Goal! Oh my gosh. That's cool. I'm having a hard time seeing. Okay. Oh, you better get this one right. Mike Tyson famously bit off Evander Holyfield's ear. Which ear was it? You have a 50-50 shot here. Mm -hmm. I'm replaying the match. No, Would you ever bite someone's I'm ear? I'm replaying the fight. Let me give me time replaying the fight. Okay. He okay. reached over right here. Visualize it. If I'm it. looking at uh -huh. the opposite side, uh -huh. on the left, it's okay. got to be the right ear. Oh! Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, well, Deontay. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going to let the champ dry off. Uh. I'm going to dry off too. We've got lots more with Deontay Wilder coming up. Stay with us. <laughs> Tomorrow, Josh Dumel from college quarterback to Hollywood star. My release was sort of like Drew Bledsoe. Did you get more <laughs> girls like this? Plus, why he's calling out Draymond Green. I was pissed off. He owed her an apology. That's tomorrow. Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy, and now it's time for Deontay to answer your burning questions. <laughs> this is from Pezman76. Okay. What's the most expensive piece of jewelry you own? The most expensive jewelry I own is, uh, I got an AP. Okay. It's very, it's, it's all dimed out, you know? And um, I think that's the most expensive. That was like 100 grand. Oh, okay. Then LGS Girl 3 wants to know how much The Rock cost you that you gave Telly. Was it more? Or less. Oh my than that. God! Like, all up in the business. I got it. Now it was it was definitely more. 
I love the girl, so I'm gonna definitely give her more than 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 I. You know, that's my queen. She you gets know what more saying? money. So than she you? get more. But when the wedding ring comes, it's gonna be crazy. Yours, or hers? Or hers. Oh, I'm excited to see it. When's yeah. that wedding? I don't know yet. We ain't set a date. We're not in a rush. Okay. Can I come? For sure. Okay, cool. Definitely. I would love to come. I'll be your flower girl. <laughs> and this one is from How I Met Yo Mama. Oh. What hurt more, getting punched by Luis Ortiz or getting that tattoo, one of them, on your neck? The tattoo on the neck. <laughs> the tattoo on the neck. Oh, my God. At that point in time, I had, um, we had just went and got some grills. Oh. And um, I had got a tattoo. But different spots on my neck felt differently, but they hit a pressure point on my neck and it numbed my whole mouth. I just got grilled in my mouth. We was just, you know, we just wanted to be stylish or whatever, and I couldn't wear it anymore. So I paid money for nothing. You paid money for nothing? For nothing, because I couldn't wear it no more. My, my mouth, it wasn't, something about the nerves or something, it wouldn't allow it to, me to f have that same feeling no more. So that was, that was way worse than a, a Louis Ortiz punch. Deontay, good luck December 1st. I'm happy if you would like for me to be in your entourage that walks you into the ring. Since we've become such good friends, I'm going to your wedding, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm for fierce. Sure. Okay. I feel like that could be a good thing. Yeah, most definitely. We, we, we need someone like you to, 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 to come out. That was the missing piece. You Not feel that me? you really needed a missing piece. <laughs> Deontay, awesome having you here. Thanks for coming by. Be sure to catch his fight against Tyson Fury on Showtime, pay per view on December 1st. I know I'll be watching. I'm Christine Leahy, and I'll see you next time on Fair Game.